On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the 2021 Trek Checkpoint ALR4. This is a performance aluminum gravel bike, and we're gonna go into some of the features and designs of this bike, as well as some of the upgrades for 2021. But before we get started, be sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future. As we take a look at this bike, the most important thing to start off with is gonna be the frame. So this ALR version is gonna be the better quality aluminum frame that Trek does. And they've got an AL version below this, which is a more basic aluminum frame. And then they also have their SL carbon version. But this ALR is gonna run Alpha 300 aluminum. So this is gonna be a pretty nice looking aluminum frame. It's got a tapered head tube. It's got internal cable routing. It's gonna have a press fit bottom bracket but the most important thing is gonna be this strangle hole dropout in the rear. So this rear dropout is gonna allow for the ability to run all sorts of tire sizes because it's a sliding rear dropout. So you can accommodate the different volumes of the tires. The other neat thing about that means that you could run, say, a single speed on this if you wanted to. Be set up with all sorts of mounting options. So in the rear, you're gonna have fender and rack mounts. On the frame, you're gonna have triplicate bottle cage mounts on the down tube and the seat tube, as well as a secondary water bottle mount on the top of the down tube. And then on the top tube, it's gonna have dual brazons. That way you could run a top tube bag on this bike. And then while we're in the front end, we should take a look at the Blender Elite stem. So this Blender Elite stem is a aluminum setup. It's gonna run the Blender option, which allows you to have a cell phone mount, Garmin mounts, lights, all sorts of things can be mounted centrally on the handlebar to make it nice and clean. And then the cockpit is gonna be finished off by using this Bontrager ISOZONE VRCF handlebar. And this handlebar is gonna have a roomy 93 millimeter reach, which is reasonably long in the world of handlebars. And then it's gonna have a drop of 123 millimeters. While on the front end, we should check out this carbon fork. So this is the checkpoint carbon fork. This is gonna be set up with a 12 by 100 millimeter through axle, fender and rack mounts up front. And then for through axles, the rear is gonna be 12 by 142. And that means that this bike is able to run all of the current gravel wheel sets that are out there, making it pretty versatile. And in versatility, with that sliding rear drop, you can run up to 45C 700 millimeter tires or 47 millimeter wide tires on 650B wheels. So you have all sorts of options for high volume gravel tires. Now let's jump into the drivetrain. This is where it's changed a bunch for the 2021 model year. This is running Shimano's new GRX group set, which is a gravel specific group set. And this has the 10 speed RX 400 version. So the rear GRX derailleur is gonna be the RX 400, which runs a clutch, has a max tooth capacity of 36 teeth, but this bike is gonna be set up with an 1134 cassette running through a KMC chain to this GRX RX 600 crank set. This crank set has a 46 30 tooth combination up front. So that wide range of 46, 36 up front and 11, 34 out back is gonna make for a hugely wide range when you're riding gravel. It does limit some of the top speed of this bike, but then again, if you're off on the dirt, I can't imagine a time where you're gonna be needing faster gears than what's being offered on this bike. For a wheel set, this is running the Bontrager tubeless ready wheels. These are gonna be 28 hole variants. And then it's gonna have a set of Bontrager GR1 comp tires. Unfortunately, those tires are not tubeless ready, but of course you could run some tubeless ones in the future. And then you're gonna be set up with the Shimano GRX flat mount brakes with a 160 front and rear rotor size. So now that we've taken a look at some of the features of this aluminum gravel bike, Let's go ahead and find out what it weighs. The actual weight of the Monda ALR4 comes in. 
at 22.53 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the Trek Checkpoint ALR4. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And while you're at it, browse the channel and check out other great gravel bikes that I've taken a look at, as well as leave a thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoyed the video.